prior to the player introductions, Rams number 89, Fred Dreyer, playfully kicked Chuck Foreman's ass. Of course, Fred starred in the TV show Hunter from 1984 through 1991. From a rain-swept Los Angeles Coliseum, it's the Rams against the Minnesota Vikings, featuring two 1,000-yard rushers. Lawrence McCutcheon of the Rams on the right against Chuck Foreman of the Vikings on the left. At stake, a spot against Dallas in the NFC Championship. Back split, and Lucia Hayden puts it up. It'll be McCutcheon. First down to the 45, to midfield, to the 40-yard line. And out of bounds, he is finally brought down at the last minute by Alan Page. First and 10, and again, it's a slot left. It's the second man, McCutcheon, and he's inside the 35-yard line. Somehow, Blair and Page team up to bring him down. As we look at Alan Page, he's on, in an over-shifted alignment there, head on the center, as you see Rich Saul trying to block him, kind of neutralizes him for a little bit. Double teaming Allen right there. There he is, Allen Page. Ahmad Rashad led the NFC in pass receptions with 51 in 1977. Can you believe that? Only 51. It goes to show how difficult it was to have an effective passing attack back then. And get this, Drew Pearson led the NFL with only 870 receiving yards. Coming up, here's another sweet catch by Ahmad Rashad. At all. Lee going to try it again. Goes deep down the left side. Rashad makes a great catch. He beat Monty Jackson and Nolan Cromwell. The free safety had to come over and knock him out of bounds. Big play for Minnesota. And the pressure was on. As you see, number 76, Cody Jones, giving a good rush there. Ed White trying to defend him, hooking him a little bit with the left arm. Jones getting here just a little bit late. There you see the pressure. And look at the catch by Rashad here. Both feet inbounds. Future Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Namath on the sidelines where he'd stay all day. Sadly, this would be his last NFL game. So it is first and goal, the ball on the Rams six yard line. And it'll be Chuck Foreman, and he's going to go in. Touchdown. Well, would you ever? Goes off that right side. They're running behind Ron Yerry and Ed White. Right at Jack Youngblood. And Jim Youngblood, for that matter. Nolan Cromwell finally getting him, but a little too late. The Vikings must be sky high for the moment. First, the Rams gambled, remember? Fourth and one on the Viking 32. They did not go for the field goal. They missed, and the Vikings took over and moved from their own 32-yard line all the way for a touchdown. And now Freddie Cox gets it up, and good. When you order a beer, do like smoking Joe. Order live beer from Miller and say no more. It's got the third less calories than the regular beer. Light tastes great, y'all, but listen here. It's not the thing that makes me shout. Light's less filling, hey. that really knocks me out. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. The Minnesota Vikings, thanks to Chuck Foreman going over from the five, are leading the Rams seven to nothing. And for Foreman, in his 66th game, he has scored 67 touchdowns. Ooh, Remarkable. You got it. First and ten Rams, seven nothing Minnesota. First quarter, 3:30 left to go. Waddy left Jackson right, so they flip flop the wide receiver. And a release to McCutcheon. And McCutcheon gets to midfield on his own. And Lee will pass on first down, and he's going deep, intended for Sammy White, off the hands of Pat Thomas, who is defending. Lawrence McCutcheon would end up with 102 rushing yards on only 16 carries in this game. He had four 1,000-yard rushing seasons, and a career-best 1,238 yards in 1977, which ranked third in the NFL. McCutcheon inside a good block by Rich Saul. Saul put a good block on Alan Page. It's time to give some props to the offensive linemen, the guys who spend their day in the pit, or the mud pit, as it were. Tom Mack is a Hall of Fame guard, number 65 for the Rams. He started as a rookie, played 13 seasons, made the Pro Bowl 11 times, and was all pro five times. 
and he never missed a game during his entire career, which spanned 184 games. It's a quagmire down in the middle of the field. Ball thrown slightly behind, and as Terry Nelson tried to jam on the brakes, of course, you saw what happened. Bones tight end Terry Nelson found traction was difficult. Sloppy fields like this were commonplace back in the day, but you just don't see it anymore today. Hayden looking left. Now back down in the middle. No good, and in intercepted instead by Nate Allen. 1977 was Chuck Foreman's last outstanding season in his stellar five-time Pro Bowl career. He had 31 rushes for 101 yards and one touchdown in this game. And in a slot right, Waddy is inside Jackson. Here comes McCutcheon. There goes McCutcheon to the 20-yard line. He will be asked to kick the ball from the 23. That would make it a 33-yard field goal. And he is five out of six in this range, as you see. Set the end, gets it up, and missed it to the right. General, Bob Lee, would only attempt three passes in the second half and only complete one. He'd finish with 5 of 10 passing for 57 yards. Third and nine, the ball on the Viking 45-yard line. Slot right and Grimm with Sammy White inside him on the right. Chuck Foreman across midfield. And the Rams stack him up before he can get to the first down marker. Pat Thomas among others. As you see it right here, he can't quite get enough. He's running off the right side, just a basic football play. Minnesota has been used to playing it in inclement conditions and bad weather field conditions. They're doing the same thing. They know what they can do well. How Chuck Foreman was able to slip through this slop is beyond me. Side and across the 20 yard line, and he might have made the first down. Depends on where they mark it, he's picked it up. Foreman doing it almost on his own. Marvelous. I'm telling you, the guy just seems to find the open holes and he can make some most out of it. He can find holes when other backs can't. That's why he's a pro bowler. Robertson and Cromwell rolling him up, but not before he rolled up the first down. The picture tells you a story immediately that the wide receivers for Minnesota are playing a decoy game. Ahmad Rashad, number 28, Sammy White, 85, and their uniforms, well, it looks like they just arrived in the ballpark. And the Rams are playing right into the hands of the Vikings who are so used to playing on fields like this or muddy or frozen fields or snowy fields and all that, and they're allowing the Vikings to make them play their game. Third and four, the ball is on the Ram 12-yard line. White in a slot left inside Rashad. In motion goes Robert Miller. Down to just shy of the one yard line. Second and goal from the one. Sammy Johnson, he's in there. Sammy Johnson scoring. The big guy, 6'1", 226 out of North Carolina. And Los Angeles is even gloomier than the weather now in the light rain. The Vikings have punched out a 13 to nothing lead. Here is Fred Cox trying to make it 14 zip with 13.59 left to go in the game. It's down and up and good. Minnesota leading 14 to nothing. Fred Cox ready to kick off. Wendell Tyler is deep. He has Joe Dat and Cullen Bryant. And Minnesota recovers that squibber. And so the Vikings, who had just taken all kinds of pages by the onside kick, and they get away with it. The Rams were not looking for it. That was Rick Nuzum, who had a shot at the ball, couldn't hold it, and the Vikings recovered. I don't know if that was really a squib kick. When I looked at that play, I thought that Freddie the Foot just banged it, trying to hit a line drive down the field, and it just happened to hit the Rams' defender. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. The Vikings are doing to the Rams what they have done in the past. They're trying to knock them out of the playoffs. It would be four for four if they do it. And they're leading 14-0. Third and five from the 48. Chuck Foreman across midfield. Still can get across the 45-yard line of Los Angeles. Tacklers just slipping off him. 
Jim Youngblood, among others. You can tell he's hurt. He's playing hurt, too. He is really that. beaten up. Boy, you got to give him a lot of credit. He has been such an outstanding performer for the Vikings. Chuck had carried 26 times. There's Tinglehoff saying, get him out. He's hurting. You can't say enough about it, Chuck Foreman. I think that Foreman was actually injured on his five-yard touchdown run in the first quarter because he was holding his stomach while he was walking off the field. And after he scored, he laid on the ground for a while, too. This was his 28th carry, and he'd carry three more times. This guy was a total gamer. Sammy Johnson comes in, and Chuck Foreman will be going out. 14-0 Minnesota. Eller trying to get at him. Hayden has time. Throwing. Compressed to the tight end, Terry Nelson. And he is not blind. Terry Nelson, the most successful Ram receiver, picks up 24. And look at the little touch here by Pat Hayden. Puts it in there and look at the catch. I think that ball might be deflected a little bit. Yes, it was. Nelson doing a good job to hold on to it that time. All right, second and six from the Viking 47. McCutcheon and Phillips. Hayden down the right side. He's got Harold Jackson at the 31-yard line. And Jackson is immediately wrapped up by Wright and Blair. But Harold Jackson finally gets his hands on the ball. Just a little turn-in pattern, and you wonder somehow why didn't they do it a little earlier? The Rams have been sitting there trailing the whole game, and they just didn't open it up. It was almost like they're playing defensive offense. Now they're moving the ball because they're putting the ball in the air, and they're thinking offensive. Hayden looking down the middle, wobbly, kicked out by Paul Krauss. And Krauss to the 15, and down he goes. Got those hands up. And it was number 70, the veteran marshal, who smothered the pass. And that's where the wonderful experience comes in. What is it, 18 years he's been playing? Right. Big games are nothing new to him. He's been in 12 playoff games, four Super Bowls. There's where you look for it. Great job by Jim Marshall. Hayden again looking right and going deep. And it is caught by Terry Nelson. And again, he is on the field, so the clock keeps running. Terry Nelson, the only successful Ram receiver today. The tight end gets it to a first and goal with a minute and six seconds left. 14 to nothing, Minnesota. Be five catches for Nelson. Hayden on a quick out to Harold Jackson. Touchdown. Bobby Bryant defending. First and ten, and what a finish. Jim Jodat recovered that onside kick. Hayden trying to pull it out and get even in the waning second. And he's going to hold it. And gets across the 45-yard line and slip. Hayden going to throw outside to Harold Jackson. Hayden trying to set up and dumping it up. No good. Hayden to Phillips. He's got a first down. But... And here it is for a trip to Dallas. Hayden going for both in the end zone. Intercepted by Minnesota. The tackle by Charles Young. I want to double check as the gun goes off. Make sure who it is getting up because he is covered. If you enjoyed this video, Please click the subscribe and notification buttons and check out my other cool videos and playlists.